Today on How Weather Works, we're going to talk about tornadoes and how they form, and it all comes together with winds coming in at different directions and at different speeds in the atmosphere. At the surface, we could have winds coming in out of the south and acceleration of winds, what we call wind shear, as you go higher up in the atmosphere. And sometimes these winds can crisscross, coming from an opposite direction. And that allows for this natural rotation in the atmosphere. First, it starts off as a horizontal rotation in the atmosphere. But within thunderstorms, there's rising air and falling air, what we call updrafts and downdrafts. And this rotating horizontal column of air gets picked up by these updrafts and thunderstorms and tilts it vertically, allowing for thunderstorms to spin, allowing for them to rotate. Once that happens, once the rotation gets strong enough, a wall cloud develops. That is a lowering in the cloud within a thunderstorm that is rotating. The next step is a funnel cloud. Now, it's just a funnel cloud if it's still above the ground, but once it touches the ground and picks up debris, lost debris, that's when it's considered a tornado. So it's very important for us as meteorologists to know which direction the winds are coming from and how fast they are blowing from the surface all the way up, tens of thousands of feet up in the atmosphere. If you have a weather question, we'd love to hear from you. Tweet me at Albert Ramon TV. We'll answer that question right here on How Weather Works.